In Venice, Louisiana this morning is Dr. Ed Overton. He's an environmental scientist who could give us uh, some insight on this top kill procedure this morning. Doctor, good morning. Hey, good morning, Maggie. Let's talk about this strategy that Cruz uh, will try today. The BP CEO said that he believes there's about a 60 to 70 percent chance of success. Do you agree with that assessment? Well, I think it's probably 50-50 uh, or a little, bit, little better than that. I think, uh, of course, BP and their engineers know a lot better than I do. But uh, this is really difficult to do. Uh, uh, you've got a, a flowing well. It's flowing at very high velocity. And you're trying to change the density of the liquid flowing through that. So it's a tough, tough uh, proposition. But they've got some of the best engineers and scientists in the world working on it. Can you explain that the, the process for us in layman's term? They're changing the density. Does that mean that they're putting down something thicker than, than what is coming up in an effort that it will stop it or plug it? Well, Maggie, I, I, uh, the analogy I use is uh, think of sucking soda through a straw. If you're sucking Coke through a straw, that would be a low density, a lo low viscosity fluid, and you can suck it really quickly. If you use that same straw to try to use a milkshake, suck a milkshake through it, can't flow nearly as much uh, fluid through the, with the milkshake because it's more viscous. Okay. Now, that is exactly what they're doing. They're going from a non-viscous oil to a viscous mud. And of course, it's, uh, it's easy to say, but they got to do it when the, when the well is flowing and they got to do it a mile away below the surface. So do you believe, doctor, that there are better odds of this working or of this making things worse, as some have suggested? Well, uh, I'm sure that they looked at their consequences. You know, when, you, when you're in a situation like this, you, you try to do things that, that uh, will not make the situation worse. So we call it low risk. But when you do low risk procedures, it's also a uh, low chance of success. So that, that's, uh, that's the situation you're in. If you take a chance, you, you might have a better chance of success, but you could make it a lot worse. So I, I think what BP and everybody's doing is a, a low risk, low gain. And, and we're hoping that uh, we hit, hit the jackpot and slow it down significantly. If this doesn't work, then we have to wait a couple of months for them to dig that relief well. In the meantime, what environmental consequences do you think that Americans need to be most concerned about? Well, there's just a slew of consequences for this thing. There's economic consequences to the coast of Louisiana and, and the northern Gulf. You remember, this is, the, this is their busy season. This is when everyone makes a living down here. So you've got massive economic consequences. Uh, we've got the, the uh, uh, ecological consequences are pretty obvious. You know, the 40% the, the, uh, of the nation's wetlands are on coastal Louisiana, 90%, 90% of the uh, the food harvest gets its start in the uh, in the uh, wetlands of Louisiana. That is the base of the food chain. All the little critters that you and I don't see. We see dead pelicans and turtles, but it's those critters that we can't see that support the entire harvest. So you've got uh, massive ecological damage, and of course you've got uh, land loss, and the, it's the loss of habitat. So you've got geological. So it's economic, ecological, and geological. Just a, a big mess. Oh. Dr. Ed Overton, thank you so much for your time and insight, Doctor. Thank you. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.